What's going on guys? It's Blue Deep Dive here and welcome to another tournament. It's going to be best of three, three stock. And I decided to make this one a uh, character lock. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this tournament to host it for a long time. You know, the first time I played uh, the open beta, I just fell in love with this game and I just had to do tournaments for this. So if you guys are looking to join in on tournaments, Look in the description because I have a discord where I host all the tournaments and I'm being more active. I upgraded my uh, equipment, my capture card. I am ready to go guys. Got my water bottle here. But yes guys, if you're looking to join, join my discord. I also have Twitter, PlayStation, and if you don't, somehow you don't have any of that, I mean, you can always comment below on YouTube and get a hold of me there. Look at this match right here, guys. Got Tom and Jerry against uh, Arya. It's a very interesting matchup here. This game is so early in the life cycle. Everybody has their own tier list. Oh, very nice, very nice from SK Dog. Arya is one of those lightest characters in the game. So, anytime she has over 70% damage, she's in a heap of trouble. Oh my gosh, SK Dog, can he pull an upset right here with the high damage? Oh, nope. I've seen a lot of matches guys where someone will have so much high damage and somehow get a crazy spike and you just gotta love those moments. It sucks when you're on the receiving end but oh, very nice combos from John. As you guys can see for this tournament I'm making it so everyone's name is their discord name so uh, the multiverse names oh man it's good dog risk it there didn't pay off but uh, everybody's name is discord in the future. I plan to do, you know, the multiverse name. Oh my gosh, the music is hyping up. Can John finish the job? Has a big lead here, a stock. Every time you have a, a lead from a stock advantage, anything you do is just bonus. Poking and poking. It just adds for the next life if somehow you die. Oh, SK Dog bring out, bringing out Jerry. Yeah guys, one of these very interesting type of games to commentate, so... Oh, he was going for the spike. Barely missed it. But I'm going to be doing my best for every tournament that passes by to improve. You know, I'm so used to saying uh, different commands that I don't really... It's very confusing to say in this one. Oh, John going for the spike, guys. SK Dog, I thought he had that kill right there from that air attack. I don't know. It's really anybody's game right now. Very nice, very nice. I've been seeing SK Dog going for some spikes. I think that's what he's going to have to rely on to come back here. Because it should be a GG for John. John just needs to finish the job. You know, SK Dog has been in plenty of my tournaments. And I know for sure he's one of those players that doesn't give up. Oh, and John! John was going for the spike, trying to finish the job early. And that cost him. That cost him the game. And SK Dog's gonna take the first victory. And I'll see you guys in the next match. Play again. My brother gave me this sword. Time to make good use of it. Oh, and there it is, guys. SK Dog setting up the trap. But yeah, John's demise. John being a little too greedy, he had the edge there. He had the over 100% on SK Dog. John just really wanted that spike. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, be a little bit patient. And I think that might be the best thing to happen to John. Sometimes you need something like that to happen to you to really focus in on the tournament. So I've seen people, uh, you know, come in very strong. And as soon as uh, I press record and we start, they're making heaps of mistakes until the, they lose a life. Or it could just domino and SK Dog could just roll John. One of the two. Oh, very nice kill from SK Dog. This isn't the end. I mean that move is just so powerful right there. Everybody has that those power moves. You know the flying kick for Shaggy is definitely one I use all the time. Oh, SK Dog's in so much trouble here. Can you do any damage before he gets killed? Oh, just 5% advantage right here. And it 
just even, guys. You know, just like Scooby-Doo's Haunted Mansion, this bad, uh, Batman's Batcave is definitely one of those maps that have saved a lot of lives. You know, those Batmobiles that go down? I can't tell you how many times I've seen so many people in 1v1s or in a 2v2s where they should die, but they bounce off the car and it saves them. Same thing with the walls of the Scooby-Doo Mansion. All very nice from SK Dog getting back on the platform. Oh man, John is being just so aggressive right now. It's starting to pay off. SK Dog doesn't really know how to handle this right now. And there it is, the spam. The spam coming from Tom and Jerry. One of the main reasons he's been used a lot in 2v2. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice spike from SK Dog. Everybody has their own tier list for 2v2s. Now that I mention it, guys, some of you have been asking me, am I going to do 2v2 tournaments? Yes, 2v2 tournaments will happen after I get a couple of these 1v1 tournaments out there. Just to get a feel for the, the game and, you know, putting these tournaments out there. Oh, nasty spike from John. That's going to secure the victory. We're going to be going to a match three. But yeah, guys, as soon as I do a 2v2 tournament, I will definitely let you know in a video so you guys can sign up and in the Discord as well. Continue. What better way, guys, to decide who will advance in the Rick and Morty stage? And this is my favorite stage right now. Just the music is just so loud, <laughs> you know? Just like, especially when the games get close, the music changes. This is what tournaments are all about, guys. And the best of three in the final match. It all comes down to this. It might even go down to the last stock for each player. Oh, an SK Dog almost falling off right there. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but the longer you hold on on the side of the map, you start to fall a little bit faster, and your grip is not as it's not as good as the first time you land there. Oh man, seems like John gets so aggressive, and then SK Dog does one one move to put him in the air, kind of gets a a little breathing room there. Who do you guys want to win? Do you want to see the Tom and Jerry SK Dog advance? There's like a very interesting discussion for Arya I forgot to mention. People that play Arya say that Arya needs a buff. And people that play against Arya say that she needs a nerf. So it's very up in the air right now. Oh, nasty spike from SK Dog. I knew something was going to happen. I knew something was going to happen when both players are that close to the bottom. But John right back at him, evening the odds. Man, I get nervous and excited every time I see players go on the side of the map and they get lower and lower down there. Just takes one move to get that spike, get that early lead to set the tone for the match. Oh my gosh, guys. SK Dog has got a rhythm here, keeping uh, John in the air. It's a big, uh, big change of pace from earlier. Oh, I thought that was going to be maybe a kill. John has been doing a good job doing combos to push SK Dog vertically up in the air. He can do nasty combos with Arya as soon as you throw the dagger. Oh, masterful spike from SK Dog. Man, these spikes are insane. Could these spikes be the reason he moves on in the tournaments? Or is John going to make a comeback here? It's always fun for me, guys, to see... Uh, just a wide variety of characters and have a lot of you guys in the comments oh and it's gonna come down to the last stock guys and have people cheering uh, Tom and Jerry Ryan dog or a low tier character to hopefully win the odds oh my gosh guys it all comes down to this you know SK dog does have a slight advantage 
John is trying to be careful, but still be very aggressive. Oh, that could have been the game. I thought SK Dog had it right there. Oh my gosh. He went for the spike, guys. But he missed it. Oh, and there it is, guys. A nasty spike from John is going to seal the deal. And he's going to move on in the tournament. Welcome back guys, we're here in the second match of the tournaments and we have Venomous against Metal Lord Husky Gamer. Very very interesting choice to go with the Rhine Dog. Not a lot of people use him. You know, I'll even go as far as to say a lot of the people that I know are pretty good in this game have said they don't really know what to do against Rhine Dog. They don't know his moves. So he could have an advantage in this match. I hope you guys are doing well. It's very cool to see such a mix of characters in this tournament. We have a Rhine Dog, a Finn. You know, Finn is definitely up there in the tier list as of right now. Very, very strong. That dang backpack, guys. That does so much knockback. It is insane. The damage as well. And FFA. Oh, and there it is, guys. Metal Lord Husky Gamer getting saved by the, the movements of this stage. Very nice kill from Venomous. You know, it's very classic that once you get a high enough damage on your opponent, to use the spin with the backpack, the up special, in the air. Pretty, pretty golden if you're Finn. It looks like Metal Lord Husky Gamer is trying to set up this zoning game, but Venomous is the complete opposite. He's putting in the pressure. Metal Lord is not really punishing. He doesn't really know how to react here. That could change. It just takes one adjustment and just changes the whole match. Yeah guys, YouTube notifications are pretty uh, pretty unbalanced. It's uh, pretty uh, weird. So definitely if you want to get all the notifications for all the tournaments, definitely follow me on Twitter. And uh, still click on that bell notification. Oh my gosh, like Venomous was dead right there. Man, I get so excited, guys, when all these tournaments happen. Every tournament, every tournament that I do, there's always trash talk in the Discord, the PlayStation chat, wherever I'm hosting these tournaments. You know, out of all the tourneys that I've done, I've never had somebody join, guarantee victory, and won. Still hasn't happened yet. Maybe it could be you watching this tournament. My gosh, Venomous, like a gum on your shoe, staying in the game with 190%. Oh, 200%. It's got to be a little bit frustrating for Metal Lord. It'll just take one hit to get that stock. Oh, and there it is, guys. Very, very nice. Metal Lord has a lot of work to do, even with that kill right there. He's over 100%. And now that he's facing Finn, it could be the backpack move in the air. Finn can also go in his backpack and, uh, oh, and there it is, guys. I knew once he started spinning, that was going to be the first match victory for Venomous. And there you go, guys. Let's see what happens in the next match. We just crushed it, homie. Continue. And here we are, guys. Venomous is looking pretty strong. I'll be honest, pretty dominant in this set so far. In case you guys are wondering, the finals are going to be best of three. But uh, once I do like Tournament of Champions, it'll be best of five. So in case you guys are new to my tournaments, what I like to do is I like to have eight people per tournament. And uh, hold eight tournaments, which means, of course, eight winners. And then 
after that, I have a tournament with all the winners. Tournament of Champions and crown the champion of the season. And then I go ahead and do eight more tournaments and that'll be season two. So, yeah guys, should be very, very fun doing more tournaments. I plan on doing it every Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Very, very nice kill from Venomous. So you guys, definitely the tournament I look forward to the most, Tournament of Champions. You know, it's always been kind of a little bit of a, a dream for me to do so many tournaments for a game, do Tournament of Champions enough times that so I do eight tournaments, eight champions, and then get a winner of Tournament of Champions. For me to get eight winners of Tournament of Champions, and then hold like a World Tournament Cup. I think that will be very fun for me. We'll, we'll see what happens, guys. You guys would like to see that? Very nice kill. Totally Definitely uh, keep supporting, and I'll bring out these tournaments. And Venomous is just the aggressiveness from him. Not really being punished. I mean, he's just getting away with murder right now. If you guys would like to see uh, tournaments for different games, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to doing different types of games. Uh, since I have new equipment, better capture, quicker rendering, I can bring out tournaments faster. So definitely guys, let me know what you'd like to see. I'm not sure if Metal Lord can come back. Anything is possible, but I'm not sure with that 100% and that backpack move coming in, coming in soon. Could be a heap of trouble. Oh, very nice hit from Metal Lord. You can see Venomous trying to get good position to finish this off. Oh, and there it is. Very nice kill from Venomous. And he'll be moving on in the tournament. Welcome back guys. We have Tetsuya against Gravity Drop. The first Batman in my tournament for today. Very cool to see such a wide variety. I was a little bit afraid guys. I'm gonna be a little bit honest. Like I was I was afraid that we were gonna see, you know, four Superman, four Batman, you know, six Bugs Bunny. But it's cool. I'm gonna have to set up a rule where you can only pick, you know, two people can pick the same character, no more than that. So I don't think you guys wanna see a tournament where everybody's uh you know Superman or Bugs Bunny. I hope you guys are doing well. And I also set up this tournament for loser picks the map. So, in case you guys are wondering, the first stage is random. And then uh, anything after that, loser picks. Oh my gosh, very even. Oh, nasty spike! And the spikes reminding me from that match earlier on with SK Dog. Oh, very nice. The stun from Gravity Drop. You have to steal your face. You have to steal your opponent's face if you're Arya. And that's a good way to set up combos. You know, it's been very uh, widely agreed that Batman's higher in the tier list, but for Arya, it's very interesting because from the people that I've talked with that play Arya, Arya players feel she needs a buff. And I can see that perspective. And people that don't play Arya say that she needs a nerf. So that's a little bit funny there. Oh my gosh, both players reaching the 100% mark. You know, if Gravity Drop gets a kill before he dies, oh, and it's not gonna happen. Tetsuya getting that stock. He's got a lot of work right here. He's gotta get el elimination, do a lot of damage, so that when he dies, because he's reaching that 100% mark, he has a good uh, advantage. 19%. If you're, if you're Gravity Drop right here, you have to get Batman right now. You have to eliminate Tetsuya. My gosh, that battering, guys. It's so good. But guys, if you want to join my tournaments, definitely look in the description in the Discord. Oh, nice kill. Nice setup right there. So you can join into my tournaments. Show me your skills. Show the world your greatness on YouTube. 
Oh, very nice stun from Gravity. Every time he gets that stun, I know it's at least 40%. 40% damage right there. Oh my gosh, look at that kill. And that's going to seal it for the first match. And I'll see you guys in the second match. And here we are guys, we're in the back cave, chosen by Tetsuya as loser picks next map. It's a very interesting one right here. I thought Scooby-Doo's mansion would be would be picked. It's very popular right now. You know the, those uh, Batmobiles have saved so many lives. I mean you watch high level games, they just bounce off the Batmobile and it should be a kill. So, so much could happen right here. I've seen a lot of people when they get hit underneath the Batmobile, it's like an environmental spike as I call it. The spike, even if you're like at 0% damage, I mean that, you know, it'll spike you to the ground like you're 300%. My gosh, Tetsuya with the pressure. You know, every time Tetsuya has gained a little bit of advantage, Gravity just bees, uh, he just rushes and bees a little bit more aggressive to counter Tetsuya's aggressiveness. Oh my gosh, nice evades from both players right here. Oh my gosh, Tetsuya could only avoid death for so long, being over 100%. Oh, very nice. You know, I've seen some nasty spikes from Arya players where they're off the map and then they parry. And then the, their opponent gets spiked from being parried. And I was like, oh, that's genius, man. I've also seen a lot of eliminations. Oh, he almost got the spike, Tetsuya. Almost getting that advantage. I've seen a lot of Batman's spike with the, the battering, funny enough. Man, gravity is just relentless. Tetsuya not able to touch the ground, finally, after so many hits. But it could be too late. Oh, nice avoid. That could have been an elimination for sure on Tetsuya. Gravity drop going for for it all right here. Even if the player has an advantage, I remember John going in early on to get that kill on SK Dog, even though having a high percent damage. So it's very, I get a little you know, nervous when I see the leader of the match in stocks going off the map. Not looking good right now for Tetsuya. He has a lot of work to do here. If he reaches 100%, it could be game here. Because he needs to get two more stocks, while Gravity Drop just needs one. Oh, for a second I thought Tetsuya lagged there. But he's just trying to keep his distance. Trying to touch the ground. Oh, very nice combo. Tetsuya not giving up. Oh, and that's not going to be able to do it as Gravity Drop is going to get the stock anyways. And he's going to win the match and he'll be moving on in the tournament. You went even on my list. Continue? Welcome back guys, we have Knight against Joel. You know I was very surprised seeing Joel pick LeBron. It's kinda, he's a new character right now, as of this tournament. Oh look at this damage he's putting on Knight right now. You know being a Shaggy one trick myself, I'm cheering for Shaggy a little bit, but you know I want to see this LeBron do well. I haven't seen a good LeBron in most of my matches playing. I've only been seen on YouTube, but you know Joel's got some moves right here. Definitely has the advantage right now. My gosh, looks like Knight doesn't really know how to handle with all those basketballs thrown in his face. He does have a sandwich. Not sure if he will throw it. Oh, he does, but he misses. Oh, you can see that, you know, Knight was powered up right there. He did have that perk where he, when he reaches 100% damage, he gets that insta charge. Not able to do anything with it, unfortunately. 
The pressure from Joel has just been phenomenal. Already taking Knight to over 100%. Oh my gosh, Knight trying to get that spike. Whenever you get nervous, guys, you don't want to spike or you just want to stay with the damage, the damage game. You just, just bring the match to the middle of the map. Oh my gosh, somehow, somehow Knight is staying alive with 160% damage. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Stage is like the Haunted Mansion keeping you alive when maybe you sh should be dead. Oh, very nice hit from Joel. He is very close to 100% himself. Oh my gosh, the no-look pass, guys. Gets me every time. Oh, very nice power move from Knight. I'm not sure if uh, Knight doesn't really have the... Hasn't faced many LeBrons as Shaggy. He's having a lot of trouble. It's like he doesn't know what he's doing. So everything that Joel is doing is just unexpected. You know, Knight has that charge. He could get a two-hit combo and then do something with it. Or a flying kick. The uppercut. The down. The down heavy. The down special, I mean. Oh my gosh, Joel almost got a kill right there. Oh, what a masterful combo right there, guys. I'm sure uh, if you don't play Shaggy, you don't know this, but when Shaggy powers up, he has an uppercut. And when you charge it, it can kill the other person for sure, basically, when it's over 100%. But it's hard to do it because it's so vertically up. But if you chain it with your first two hits, first two light hits, it can be two light hits into the, that, uh, you know, powered up uppercut. It could be an insta-kill. Right there, it didn't insta-kill because Joel wasn't over 100%. Oh my gosh, it's anybody's game right here. Joel with a slight damage advantage. Man, you know, Knight is just getting hit with these basketballs left and right. You know, it doesn't do that much damage, but it definitely adds up. Oh my gosh. You know, it's very kind of... Very unpredictable when you're playing a LeBron because he has different moves and he doesn't have the basketball. Very nice kill right there. He is one more kill away from winning the first match. Anything can happen. A single spike can turn everything around. Oh my gosh, look at this juggle from Joel. Nasty. You know, there's a lot of characters being rumored to be in the works right now. Rick and Morty. You know, I've, e I've even heard Johnny Bravo, Harry Potter. You know, I don't have any, like, confirmed sources, but that's getting very interesting hearing all these, like, speculation leaks. Oh, very nice. There it is, guys. Knight knows the combo. The two light hits into the uppercut while charged. Very devastating. The only bad thing is, once you use that special, you gotta charge again. Oh, and Knight missed it. Knight could have gone to the right and go for a spike, but he expected Joel to go left. So he missed that spike right there. Oh, it is very even right now. As even as you can get. Who are you guys rooting for? This LeBron Joel? Or this Shaggy Knight? Oh my gosh, that move right there with the slam dunk. I do know for sure that move, if you do it to someone with over 100%, is like almost a guaranteed kill. Oh, and there it is, guys. Very nice moves from Joel. And he's going to take the first match. Oh, what is going on here? Yeah, guys, as of right now, the, the custom game for Spectator is a little bit buggy. So definitely don't worry about it. Here we are, guys. We are back. Had to set up custom game again. But we're going to find out who's going to advance in this tournament. Joel's doing such a good job. Putting a lot of pressure, throwing the basketball when you expect him to hold the ball for the most part. Yeah, that slam dunk move right there where he slams into the, the hoops and it goes down. Very, very good for spiking your opponent. Yeah, that one right there. You know, I've seen a lot of LeBrons where they let the ball linger. So if they get trapped into a combo, the bouncing ball from the previous combo or previous setup can interrupt your opponent. Oh my gosh. Knight is almost reaching that 100% mark. If Joel gets a slam dunk, he could knock him off the map. Knight does have a charge. Maybe he could get that uppercut. 
if he is a little bit too uh, predictable oh he missed that uh, kick oh and there it is guys like I called it before in the last match you're over a hundred percent against Joel and he slam dunks on you man you're going off the map oh my gosh look at these combos very very nice You know, Joel's keeping his space from Knight, and uh, whenever he's not sure whether to push in or not, he's throwing that basketball, you know, constantly putting pressure from a, from a safe distance, and if it hits, it can go in there like that. Oh, very nice charge from Knight. You know, that charge takes forever. So whenever you get a flying kick or a uh, knockback when the other, your opponent is high damage, it's definitely the time to charge up. Man, Joel's doing a good job right here, being so, uh, oh, nice kill from Knight. Being at a high damage and constantly staying alive and doing a little bit of damage. And it's slowly adding up. Joel's doing enough damage. Knight is getting to 100%. He's gonna get the insta-charge, I believe. Oh, and there it is. My gosh. Oh, that could have been a kill right there. But uh, Knight was doing the flying kick with Shaggy. And when you do that, when you're charged, you do have armor. You could be 3,000%. As long as you have that uh, charge and you're doing the flying kick, nothing is going to happen to you. At least for one hit. If you get hit with more than two hits, it will break the armor. It's not completely invincible. Oh, very nice kill from Joel. Who are you guys rooting for? Joel? Knight? Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments. And it's so much fun. I didn't think I'd enjoy watching LeBron as much as I am right now. I don't really see him being played too often in 1v1s. But yeah, guys, I'm very excited for the next tournaments. I have people lined up. But uh, there is so many tournaments to be had. Like, I plan on doing, you know, depending on how well this tournament does, I will do perhaps two tournaments a weekend. So yeah, guys, show that support. And I'll be bringing that tournament week after week. Multiple tournaments, actually. Oh my gosh. Shaggy has that charge. If he gets those first two hits into the uppercut, it could be a kill. But Joel's making it so difficult. The basketball kill? Oh, very nice uppercut. Knight did not have that, uh, that charge anymore. He had to use the flying kick to go back to the platform to stay alive. Oh, nice uppercuts. What's Joel going to do right here? Oh, and the slam dunk. And Shaggy is over 100%. Very, very nice kill. And that's going to get him the match victory. And he's going to move on in the tournament. Welcome back guys. We're here in the next match, Venomous against John. This should be a very interesting one right here because both players have the same uh, play style. They like to be super aggressive, not let you breathe, get right in your face. And I feel like with both of these players facing each other, uh, one of them is going to have to adjust and uh, punish the other. Oh man, Venomous ran into that dagger. A lot of you guys who don't know, Arya's dagger does allow you to teleport and do some crazy combos right there. So if you see that dagger on the ground, do not touch it because it will stick to you. But yeah, interesting that when you do it in a 2v2, you can teleport to your uh, your teammate. That's very cool to know. Oh my gosh, Venom is hanging in there over 100%. You know, this match is even right now, believe it or not. When you're over 70% with Arya, you are in trouble. Who's going to make that clutch hit and get the early stock lead? Will it be John Venomous? Oh, I thought that was a stock right there for sure. Maybe it has to be the backpack. Maybe Venomous has to get the backpack move out in uh, high ground. Oh my gosh, somehow guys, somehow John's staying alive. 
Oh, very nice kill. And with that kill, John is going to be summoning the pie. And there it is. Venomous is so slow right now. Oh my gosh, I did not think that stun from John was going to reach Venomous. And you gotta give props to John right now. He's keeping his distance, being aggressive when he wants, and staying alive. Doing a lot of damage, being a huge nuisance to Venomous. Being over 100% already. Oh, I was about to say nice kill, but John's been staying alive. Oh, very nice move from Venomous. You know that move from earlier I was talking about, guys. Such a good move to spike your opponent when they're on the edge. I don't know, guys. Things are looking... And John's advantage right now. If you can get this stock kill before reaching 100%, even 70%, it was all worth it. All oh, the backpack move, guys. That is so good. You know, I'm surprised Venomous didn't try to go for uh, that spike hit he got earlier. Oh, very nice hit from Venomous. That kind of hit right there against John, over 100%. Would definitely have been a kill right there. Oh, very nice spacing, guys. Again, John's spacing has been uh, superb right now. That charged hit. Almost getting that stock right there. Venomous evading. Doing everything he can to stay on the stage. Being over 100%. Oh, nice hit. You know, that dagger actually is really, really good to uh, teleport to when uh, you're off the map with high damage. When you get knocked into the side or vertically, it's so good. My gosh, how are these guys staying alive over 100% for so long? Very nice kill. Immediately, John on the attack. Very interesting strategy. You would assume when you're super high damage, you would not. You would just try to spam projectiles or do one hit and then run away. But once John finds an opening, he's just going in 100%. You can already see Venomous has adjusted his playstyle. He's not being super aggressive without thinking about it. Oh, nice kill. Nice kill from Venomous. He's actually uh, thinking about when to attack. Um, I could get punished, so I have to watch out for this move for that move. Not run into the pie, not the dagger. Very, very exciting guys, as next, next kill will take the first match. It's as even as you can get guys. The damage is so close. Sorry about that guys, technical difficulties right there, as custom game is a little bit buggy right now with the spectator mode not really being, uh, so I had to get this footage uh, later on after this match. But yeah guys, I will not let any footage escape me for this tournament, nor any other tournaments. We will see what will happen, and it is so close guys, both players over 120%. My gosh, somehow Venom is staying alive. Who wants it more, guys? Who is going to get this win? And that'll be Venomous. Very nice kill, and he'll take the first match. Welcome back, guys. Venomous took the first match, so John picked the back cave. Very interesting right here. I thought he would pick, you know, possibly an open area stage. Open area or completely go into Scooby's Haunted Mansion if you were another character because, you know, I feel that some characters' vertical hits are more appealing for different stages. Oh my gosh, look at this aggressiveness. Venomous doesn't know what to do. He needs to figure that out right now. Alright, now nice couple hits right there, starting something off. Both players are adjusting to each other. Very, very cool to see. But yeah, guys, if you want to join my tournaments, 
definitely look in the description and join that Discord link. Message me on Discord, comment below on YouTube, message me on uh, Twitter or PSN, and I'll get you in here. Show me what you got and show your greatness, guys. Show your greatness for all the world to see if you can even win my tournaments. I'm challenging you guys. Oh my gosh, 119%. Somehow, John, not able to get that kill, but he does finally. It'll take one hit for uh, Venomous to get back in this match. Oh my gosh, the backpack move barely missing right there. Man, John doing so well. Getting hit with so, so many moves I feel that should kill, but he's staying in the game. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. Stages like this where you have the side hazards like Rick and Morty, speakers, uh, Scooby-Doo's Haunted Mansion, the walls, and the Batmobile. Stop so many people from getting kills. I'm surprised uh, this stage was selected. I've seen people even go to the lengths of some 1v1s where they start off and they just go and destroy the, the hazards already. Oh my gosh, it's even, guys. It's even right now. Very nice hit from Venomous. Man, the freaking sword battle, huh, guys? <laughs> Very nice kill from John. The pie is out there on the field. Will Venomous even care about walking near it? It did punish him earlier, giving a free 30% uh, damage to uh, John. Oh my gosh. I, yep, it was coming, guys. I knew it. We all knew it. That stun was coming. But uh, John not able to punish uh, Venomous for that. Getting too close. Getting that stun. John is in trouble right now. Being over 100%. It was only a matter of time, but in this last stock, he has a tremendous advantage, the 71%. Ooh, I think Venomous was baiting that, acting like he was going to touch that dagger, and then going for a follow-up. But John could see it, he could sense it. Oh, for some reason, I thought that was going to kill right there. What is Venomous trying to get out of his backpack? Could be over? Nope, nope, Venomous staying in the game. He just has to be aggressive right here. Has to bring out the backpack. Because any move will kill, basically. Oh my god, this is so close. Oh, and that's going to do it, guys. And John's going to come back and win the second match. So we are going to a match three. I'd like to head north now. Do these Momos really think they can beat us? And here we are in the third match, the final match between these two. Who will advance in the tournament and who's getting eliminated? I always get hyped guys, I always get hyped for these third uh, third matches in the best two of three sets. It gets more and more competitive the more these guys play against each other. They're starting to figure out their play style, trying to uh, create the perfect distance they feel. In certain moments, oh my gosh, guys. I don't know how John hasn't been hit yet. He's already got Venomous over 100%. The punishing is real right here. As John has been punishing Venomous so much in the beginning of this match. Little by little, it didn't seem like much, but it added up very quickly. Not sure if it was on purpose, guys, but Venomous with a nasty uh, sword hit going through the platform to get John. Not sure if Venomous is going to look in the backpack. He has 900 coins. Oh, very nice from John. You know, I see a lot of Arya's. Like, there's this uh, perk that Arya has that when she kills you, she steals your face. And when she steals your face, she can uh, she can stun you. So, a lot of Arya's I've seen when they respawn, um, a lot of Arya's that I've seen when uh, their opponent respawns, they get too close to them when they're in invincible, and then they uh, do the stun, 
and then the opponent will think they're you know vulnerable and they get out of that animation where they're invincible and then they get stunned and then they get punished for that oh my gosh guys somehow John's staying alive over 120 percent not letting venomous breathe Oh, very nice kill. It could be too late, guys. 116 damage. Oh, very nice kill. Oh, there it is, guys. He tried to do it again, but that has like a startup. So if we attack too early, then uh, he won't be able to get the stun off. It's very nice from Venomous. I'm not sure if he was trying to do that intentionally. But yeah guys, the coloring is off right here because in the first match, uh, Venomous was blue and John was red. So I'm going to keep it the same for now. Uh, that's when the custom game kind of went haywire there. So we had to regroup. Oh my gosh, guys. John is just doing such a good job of, you know, juggling Venomous. Not letting him touch the ground at least three or four times in a row. And that damage is just being so insane right now. I don't know guys, I don't know if it's in the cards for Venomous, gonna have to make some adjustments right here. The way John's playing, I mean he has that uh, stock advantage. Oh we got the dagger, it could be over right here. Gotta give credit for Venomous, for staying alive for so long, but it came to an end. And with that, John is gonna be advancing in the tournament. Welcome back guys. We are here in the next match. We have Gravity Drop against Joel. You know, this is going to be a very interesting matchup. You know, Joel's been uh, having this really good gameplay with throwing the basketball, putting the pressure, you know, throwing the basketball at you when you least expect it, and then following up with the slam dunks from high ground. And getting very high, that right there, yeah. Looks like he's just double jumping to jump above you or jump to a platform and he comes down with that slam dunk if you're 100 percent damage that is just like you know 90 percent it's an insta stock right there you know gravity drop has been doing pretty good in this tournament being very aggressive he's been doing very good at evading and then uh, putting on the pressure all very nice right there You know, there are some characters that uh, put a lot of pressure, but the cooldowns are kind of insane. You know, the uh, the dagger from Arya has a very long cooldown, and so does the basketball for LeBron, but LeBron can hit you and get that basketball back. Could he get the spike? Ooh, Joel was thinking about it. He was thinking about going for the spike. Gravity drop sends that and immediately headed towards the middle of the map, trying to get out of danger. And especially if you're Arya, at 70% damage or higher, you are in trouble for sure. Oh my gosh. I thought that was a stock for sure, guys. I was about to say nice kill. You know, both these guys just staying alive. Way over 100%. Oh, very nice hit. I was about to say I would be very impressed if Joel survived that. You know, a lot of people... Oh, it's going to be an early stock? Oh no, he did get the stun though. Oh my gosh, she almost got it guys. Oh, and he gets punished. Joel with a nasty spike. You know, that uh, combo from Gravity Drop not too long ago in the air. I mean, it must have been like an eyelash away from a vertical kill. It was so close. But then Joel came back with a nasty spike. There are some people out there that'll take these projectile hits and just be aggressive and it doesn't matter if they're getting hit and there's other players where they want to evade everything 
you know, gotta give a lot of credit to Gravity for evading a lot of these basketballs that, you know, normally most players will just tank those hits, it's not a lot of damage, but that adds up after a while. You know, Gravity has a slight lead right here, so that could change instantly. If Joel is able to get Arya into a 70% and then go for the slam dunk, oh, very nice stun! Joel is just trying his best to touch the ground. The gravity drop, relentless right now. Can he get this last stock right here? Oh, and he does. Very nice from gravity. He's going to take the first match. Another victory for house stock. Play again? And with that first win from Gravity, Joel is going to be picking the stage, and it's going to be the Rick and Morty stage. I know it has a, an official name, but this is what me and everyone I know call this stage by. Could there be strategy right here? You know, I'm surprised that Joel did pick this stage. I thought for sure he was going to go with uh, Scooby's Haunted Mansion. Am I about to spike? Is he going to spike? Oh my gosh, Joel barely hanging on. You know, that's one of the best things from Arya. You can put your dagger anywhere, put yourself in a, in a position where you could die or you're about to die, and then just go right to the middle of the stage or right where you put that dagger. Very, very nice to use from gravity, put it in the middle. And Joel very nice with all these basketballs. Oh my gosh, there it is, the slam dunk. Out of nowhere, an early stock lead. You know, I'm so excited with all these new characters coming up, guys, that I'm going to allow all the new characters... You know, if I was doing a tournament on Saturday, and a character came out that very day, I'd be like, you can use that character. Oh, very nice kill from Gravity. Now it's completely even. 0% to 0%. Oh, very nice from Joel. He knows. He knows Gravity is going for that stun. And uh, you can't get stunned when you throw a projectile. So Joel throwing those basketballs, very, very smart of him. To end the animation, end the, end the stun move from Arya. End the stun move from Arya. Oh my gosh, guys. Gravity is just adding this damage, little by little. Joel with over 100%. Could be a kill here, and the speakers are going to save him, but it will not save gravity. Maybe this was the strategy, guys, from Joel. Do a lot of damage, you know, get on the speakers, and throw that slam dunk. Get that vertical kill. All oh, very nice. It is completely even, guys, right here. Who is going to take it? Who wants it more right here? Oh my gosh, getting so close, guys. The last stock, next stock will win. Oh, nasty spike out of nowhere. And gravity is going to be advancing in the tournament. Here we are guys, in the finals of the tournaments. Who would have thought that each Aria playing on the other side of the bracket would collide with all these characters playing today. Hope you guys are doing well. Who are you guys rooting for? Gravity? John? You know, an interesting thing about this match is there was a lot of trash talk in the Discord. You know, friendly, but still uh, nobody wants to lose this match right here. Both players actually in the top 100 in the world. Oh, very nice kill from Gravity. Oh my gosh, and he got him, guys. Gravity got John with his own medicine right there. With the pie. 
and with the the stun at spawn you know gravity has a lot more damage on him than John so John can easily come back here yeah there it is above uh, oh he tried to go for the spike is he gonna get it oh not this time man I love it guy I get nervous every time someone goes on the edge of the map doesn't matter what the score is you know anybody can get spiked at any time Oh, very nice. Oh, I thought John had the kill right there. Man, I just love to see this, guys. The improbable happening. Both Arias. There can only be one. And let me know, guys, below what kind of characters you would like to see in my tournaments. Because, you know, honestly, I want to see some more LeBrons. I want to see some more LeBron. I want to see more basketballs. More chalk thrown in the air. Oh, very nice kill. And it's even right now. You know, John has 100% on him. Gravity Drop does have the advantage right here. Oh, he's not falling for it, guys. I mean, when you play the same character, I mean, you know the same uh, tricks. Oh, nice from John there. I thought he was going to get eliminated for sure with the side hit right there from Gravity. Oh, he tried to go for the spike. I mean, these are the type of players where you think you have an advantage. You get them over 100%. Ah, I'm going to finish the job and get the lead. And they stick around and do so much damage. You're totally winning. A very nice kill from Gravity. Everything right now is set for Gravity to win this match right here. He's got the stock advantage. He's doing a little bit of poking here and there. But anything can happen. John can come back. He's been getting some nasty spikes today. Oh, he almost gets it. Oh my gosh, is he going to get her here? Oh, and Gravity just staying way too long on the side. I think he was trying to evade at the perfect time. But John just too quick for Gravity. And with that kill, it levels the playing field as John can come back right here. He has the advantage actually right here in damage. Not by much. You know, I love it guys. When people join my tournaments, they get nervous. Uh, sometimes it affects them, sometimes it doesn't, gameplay-wise. But right now, both players playing at a high level. Oh my gosh, both daggers in the same spot. All the teabagging is going on. You know, I wish I would have recorded the call. Because today I had everybody on Discord at the same time on voice chat. And it was very cool talking to everybody. Hey, your next match. And you know, obviously the trash talk leaks into the Discord call. <laughs> And I was like, dang, maybe next time. Maybe next time I'll record it. Oh my gosh, gravity so so close to getting that final kill there. It is anybody's game, guys. Like, any freaking hit could end it and fling uh, each Arya off the map. You know, I feel like one of these Arya should steal a face and then go for that stun. Oh, very nice hit from John. I'm going to take the first match, and I'll see you guys in the second. <laughs> Seven hours. That was almost a challenge. Continue? I don't care who I'm fighting. Just point me at the target. Man, that first match was so close, guys. I'm expecting the same here. Oh my gosh, look at this aggressiveness from Gravity. Already getting John to 50 to 60%, not getting hit. You know, I'm very surprised that Gravity went ahead with this selection for this stage as Loser picks the stage. All very nice hit. So I've heard a lot of players, they just like to play on this stage with the walls, man. If they're not down, and you're an advantage in this match, could cost you. Oh my gosh, early kill! Is it happening? Oh no, John was able to evade it. Very nice of him. You know, you would like to think that you're safe when you're in that position on the top left. Because you're outside the Haunted Mansion. You're hanging on the wall, but you can still get hit up vertically. I know, it's like a false sense of security up there. 
Oh my gosh. Very nice from gravity. You know, he does have John over 100%. Will he get this extra kill here? Oh my gosh, the dagger combo kill, guys. Oh, and the teabag as well. Both players teabagging. You know, John, you know, gravity baiting the aggressiveness from John, going for that stun, able to get that combo right there. You know, gravity has been able to be un under 100% most of this match. All of the match, actually. Oh my gosh, guys, John is just having a heap of trouble right now. He's getting punished. I think he's trying to be too aggressive. You know, Gravity Drop can sense it and it's slowly punishing him. Oh my gosh, very nice hit from Gravity. I can sense it, guys. Oh, is he gonna get that kill right there? And John, able to barely avoid the hit from Gravity, get that vertical kill right there. Ooh, that was pretty close right there. Oh my gosh, guys, John at 130%. I don't know if he can come back. It could be over. And it is. And Gravity with the three stock, making a statement. And guys, we are going to the third match to settle the deal. Who's going to win this tournament? Another victory for House Stark. Play again? My brother gave me this sword. Time to make good use of it. This match has been crazy, guys. You know, it was very close in the first match. I don't know what happened to Gravity, but in the second match, he just dominated. So in the third match, you know, John could dominate. Or it could be very close again. You know, in that second match, it looked like John wanted to be really aggressive. And not really get punished for it, but Gravity was punishing him left and right. And, uh, you know, Gravity is picking his moments to be aggressive. And I feel like John's not really sure what to do here. He's being aggressive, aggressive, and it's not working. And then now he's trying to have to adjust now to pick his moments. Oh, big, uh, big gamble from Gravity. I don't think John's going to fall for it this time. And there's the punish. I mean, it's always good to test the waters. But uh, John, after falling for it so many times in the last match, I don't think you would expect him to fall for it in the third match. Oh, he's in the he's in the advantage right now. Oh, and very nice kill from Gravity. John does have Gravity up to 100%. He ate the pie, guys. He ate the pie. He's slow right now. Man, very nice from Gravity. He's making so many good evades, punishing, putting himself in a position, even though he has way high percentage than John, to be on the offense. Oh, and there it is, guys. Oh, I thought that was going to kill. Very nice dagger. Oh, nice hit. Oh, I thought that was going to be a for sure kill from John. Is John going to go over there? He's going to go for the spike? He's going to play it safe. He's going to play it safe, guys. Oh, and very nice kill from Gravity. Is he going to get the stun? I don't think so. Oh, and John mistimed it. He was waiting for that stun animation to go away. Oh, and nice kill from John. John getting on the board. Oh, and he gets a stun himself. Oh, very nice from Gravity. John has a lot of work to do to come back. He needs to get this stock. He needs to get like a spike. Or go for a ton of pressure right here. Go for a lot of punishes. But Gravity is just playing at a high level right now. Going for evades, taking his time. It could take one spike from John to just make a comeback right here. Oh, nice evading going on. Oh, and there it is, guys. The third and final kill. Gravity Drop has just won the tournament. Valiant effort from John. Thank everybody for joining today's tournament, especially with uh, custom game and spectator mode as it is right now. But if you guys would like to join my Rematch. tournaments, definitely click in the description, join my discords. I want to see more of you join, and I'll talk to you guys later.
What's going on guys? I'm here with the winner of the tournament, Gravity Drop. How'd it feel to win that tournament? It feels pretty amazing, not gonna lie. You know, it was pretty interesting seeing the, the Arya Mir match. What were you thinking going into that? Knowing that the other person on the other side of the bracket, that you could face an Arya in the finals and you did. Was there kind of a strategy specifically for that Mir match? You know, as soon as I heard there was an Arya, I feared that might happen because everyone hates mirrors. So that was like my worst nightmare. I'd rather, I would have rather fought anyone else, honestly. But as I, as anyone who watches me knows, I've been streaming a bunch. I've been playing a lot of top Arya players lately. So I already had my, already had my ass handed to me by like a rank four Arya, and I've played a lot of Arya. So honestly, I was kind of ready for the matchup, which, you know, it kept me pretty confident throughout the whole thing, which was pretty good. So I felt pretty good going into it. So I know you were streaming the, the tournament. A lot of your fans were getting pretty hype. I mean, you're going to be playing in a tournament of champions. What do you got to say to your future opponent watching this video right now? Uh, I mean, by the time that happens, I'm going to be way better. And my hero is not going to be totally dog shit. So they better be ready. Awesome, awesome. And there you have it, guys. Interview with Gravity Drop. Before we end this interview, uh, where can your fans and your viewers uh, check you out if they have not seen you before? Uh, my YouTube channel, Gravity Drop, super great place to find me, stream all the time. Hopefully Blue has my Discord link below, you can join my Discord server, where uh, hopefully I'll be hosting some tournaments in the near future as well, and hopefully my Twitter's also there, but that's about it. Appreciate it. And there you have it guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tournament. Join uh, my Discord to join my tournaments, and join Gravity Drop too, as he streams and climbs the rankings. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. And easy. <laughs> <laughs>